Okay, so the first card is eccentricity, and this is about you know you've got Saturn there in uh, Aquarius, so you're doing something that you know uh, maybe people are think you're being very eccentric about things that you're doing and very unusual in the way you're doing things, and you know maybe they don't understand. So uh, you know you're going through a phase maybe you're rediscovering um, you know. Uh, certain gifts and talents that you've had and it's not uh you know sitting well with everybody else they're seeing you as very un doing very very unusual things there's a speculation card over here with um um jupiter there in cancer so you know you are looking at different possibilities maybe you're coming up with different ideas and you'll be you know you're coming up with some very original plans and and ideas here because you've got mercury there in a, um um, Aquarius and Aquarius is ruled by uh, Uranus so some brand new ideas you may be starting on some new venture that's bringing about that artistic side of you and you're channeling that at this particular moment coming up with some really good solutions some really innovative ideas and you know you want to bring that into um, you want to manifest that at this particular moment so you've got the influence card over here with Mercury sitting in Libra. So, you know, you're trying to find that balance again. You might have been dealing with very toxic people and you're trying to bring that balance in again here. Uh, you know, you're trying to um, get your, expand your mind and bring in some peace and harmony as well. You've got the influence card over here with Saturn sitting in um, uh, Scorpio over here. So there might be some, sorry, some the inheritance, sorry, a card. <laughs> inheritance card over here with Saturn sitting in uh, Scorpio over here so there might be issues going on in the family home and it's to do with inheritance of a property um, and uh, you know wealth family wealth uh, so you might be dealing with that kind of situation maybe you're trying to change the situation maybe you're trying to exert some influence uh, over that particular situation as well you, you know you are involved in some kind of um, Maybe there's some kind of dispute over inheritance, but you are involved in that particular situation at the moment. You might be dealing with some family members that are presenting a lot of problems, and it's got to do with that inheritance issue that's going on. So going into the future, you've got the inspiration card and the criticism card. So all these new ideas that you are going through with this originality over here and this eccentricity over here, as well as speculation, it seems like you know, you're expanding your mind, you're coming up with brand new plans. You might be going to business by yourself and you're coming up with some new ideas and you're being inspired by, um, you know, uh, things that are going on around you uh, because you've got that Mercury sitting in um, um, Pisces over there. So this is about, you know, looking, uh, thinking outside the box. So new ideas and brand new plans coming into your mind. You've got the criticism card as well, which is talking about people around you, you know, pointing fingers, not really uh, understanding what is going on. So they're not quite sure which path you're going down. You've taken a new view of life and uh, maybe people are not really understanding what you're doing at the moment. So, you know, there might be a little bit of problems going on over there because people are not quite sure where you're coming from at the moment. Um, but you are coming up with some really brilliant ideas and maybe you're making plans to start, to start something new and this is my this might be a period where you're brainstorming at the moment, uh, you know, and you're looking at all the possibilities and coming up with something different and coming up with something very, very new. And it's going to bring in, you know, um, maybe a big change coming in because you've got this new moon over here, but you are thinking, really thinking outside the box. So those are the energies for that particular week. So I'm going to be using the Game of Thrones Tarot, and um, I've, I've done a deck review on this particular deck, um, and I will link it at the end of the video so you can have a look. And so let's see what this deck has got to say. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the five of spears. So you are having problems with people around you. Maybe you're not getting your message through to them. There's a lot of competition. That There's a lot of arguments and a lot of problems that you're facing. And you're having to defend yourself and you're having to stand up yourself. So you're not uh, dealing with very nice energies. These are the energies causing a lot of drama, a lot of problems for you at the moment. So, you know, you're almost in the middle of a dispute at the moment. And uh, you've got the Ten of Cups, so you're trying to end some kind of uh, emotional issue. So the, the Ten of Cups is also dealing with family problems. So this Five of Spears is what's going on within the family. There's a lot of 
problems going on, a lot of arguments, and there's a lot of fighting going on. And that particular cycle is coming to an end, but you're having to deal with it at this particular moment. And you're trying to find that balance, that peace again, that harmony. Maybe you are acting as a mediator in that family, and you're trying to bring in uh, that peace and harmony. And, you know, this is the card, um, you know, that talks, Kempton's talks about bringing that balance, that healing, uh, and the negotiation. You're acting as that mediator within this family dispute that you are facing at this particular moment. You got the Five of Swords. Uh, so, you know, people are against you in this past year. It seems like you've been victimized or people standing against you. You seem to be standing on your own over here and people are having a go at you as well. Uh, this is a card of people being vindictive, but this is also the card of people, you know, of humiliation, really. So you are dealing with a very, very difficult situation. You could also be dealing with a legal situation as well, where it seems like, you know, things are not going your way. Everything seems to be against you on the legal front as well. So you are dealing with some kind of problem you've got the five of cups over here so uh, five of coins rather so whatever problem you're dealing with so you've got a lot of fives you've got the five of spears which is dealing with very negative energies and the five of swords dealing with very uh, negative things being said or de dealing with a negative legal situation but the five of coins is talking about a lot of loss as well feeling very isolated left out in the cold you can see here too this person seems very isolated very unsupported and even here uh, you know, this person, everybody seems to be, uh, you know, pointing uh, their spears at that particular person. So it seems like whatever dispute is going is causing financial loss for you as well. And it's causing you to feel very isolated, being left out in the cold. So there's something that, you know, a big drama happening over here. And, you know, you are on the receiving end and it is not very, very nice at all. Um, and it seems to be causing a lot of emotional upset, a lot of problems. So you are going through a battle at the moment on the emotional front. You've got the Knight of Spears over here. So you're trying to take control of that situation. Take, trying to take charge and maybe even you want to, maybe you just want to just leave that situation and move away from it. Uh, but you are standing up for yourself and you are trying to get your power back as well. Now you've got the moon card. Now this is your moon. This is your card. Uh, it is uh, the moon rules Cancer, but also you can see that you know the moon is only partially exposed over here. So whatever problem you're dealing with, not all the facts are being have been revealed. There's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of anxiety. Uh, you're expecting the worst case scenario. You know, people are lying, people are pretending to be faithful to you, and they're not. So you're dealing with a lot of uh, people, um, you know, a lot of treachery, uh, and, uh, you know, a lot of people betraying you as well with this moon card. You are the king of cups. Cancer, this is the card for cancer. You are standing up for yourself. Uh, this card also talks about getting some kind of advice or kind of some kind of emotional support. But all in all, this is your card, and you are, you know, you are being as um, true to that, sign of cancer so you are standing up for yourself and you are showing that you are better than everybody on an emotional point of view you're not allowing yourself to be drawn emotionally into the issues that you are facing now whoever you are dealing with is very deceptive around you this is the seven of swords and there might be a legal situation that you are facing also and somebody is manipulating it by lies and deceit uh, so there's a, a lot of nastiness going on around with this dispute You've got the Ten of Spears. You just want to just, uh, you know, you're carrying a lot of responsibilities and burdens. Uh, and, you know, you're taking a lot of the flack for whatever is going on. So it seems like, you know, all of this, these problems have been landed on your shoulders. Maybe people are looking to you to sort out the problems and you're having quite a difficult time because there's a lot of burdens that you're carrying at the moment. It seems to be some kind of family issue that you're dealing with. You've got the Six of Coins of here, the Four of Coins, and the Justice card here. So the Six of Coins of here having some kind of, um, you know, financial problems as well, trying to balance your finances. But this is also talking about needing to get some kind of financial assistance as well because of, um, you know, maybe you are having a problem with money as well. So you're hoping to get some kind of um, uh you know, financial assistance. This whole dispute might be about inheritance and maybe you're waiting for some kind of money to come in, some kind of family payout as well. You've got the four of coins. You can see having a lot of financial problems of here, hanging and clinging onto your money, but you're also 
uh, clinging on to your assets or trying to protect what is yours. Uh, so, you know, you are very worried about loss because you have been through this five of coins. It seems you've been through loss and whatever's remaining, you're trying to hang on to it as far as possible. And you are having some financial problems as well. Now, there looks like there's going to be some legal resolution of this particular problem. You've got the justice card coming in over here for you. Now, if, um, you know, if everything has been above board on your side, this case will go in your favor. So make sure, you know, you keep everything, uh, you know, open, honest, and be very clear in how you communicate. But there looks like there's some kind of court case or some kind of legal decision pending as well. And you're waiting for that to come through. So there seems to be a lot of drama that's going on and seems to be have a lot of, you know, there seems to be a, a lot of arguments going on. The law seems to be involved in this and it might be some dispute that is going on on the home front. And there's a lot of lies and deception as well. Uh, maybe this person is manipulating the legal system uh, by their lies and deception and you're having to deal with that as well. You do need to go and get some kind of advice. Uh, that is very, very important. Get some professional advice to deal with the situation. Now, you've got the Ten of Winter over here, um, which is the Ten of Pentacles, which talks about an inheritance. And the end of a career path project or relationship brings feelings of mixed joy and success, or uh, sadness, relief, and disappointment. Put aside your fears about these changes and trust that there is a, um, a brighter future that awaits. Now, with the Ten of Winter, it looks like there will be a resolution of this particular... You are waiting for some kind of legal resolution with this Justice card. And with the Ten of Winter, it's usually the end of that situation and there's usually a payoff. So it looks like there's some money coming to you as well with this. So this, it looks like whatever this case is, whatever this dispute is, money is coming to you. You've got the Four of Summer, which says your responsibilities may distract you from noticing all the gifts that God is uh, presenting you, be open to investing, investigating opportunities that come your way. So it looks like there are new things going to, that are going to start once this case is resolved. It looks like new offers come in for you and you're going to be able to move forward. And you've got the Princess of Winter over here, which says this is an intellectual challenge that calls upon your ability to think of a matching solution. If helpful information is put to you, bluntly accept the message without being bothered by the messenger. So this is um, uh, the Princess of Winter, which is the page of, um, of swords, really. And this is talking about a legal decision coming in for you here. So there will be some kind of legal news coming in about this particular situation. And it looks like, you know, with this Ten of Winter, which is the Ten of Pentacles, there is going to be a resolution to this case. And it looks like there's in some kind of money or some kind of payoff, some kind of settlement coming from you uh, coming to you and it will be an end you've got the ten of cups of you so the end of this difficult emotional situation that you're going through and a legal resolution so you are waiting for that to come through try not to get too involved emotionally in it because with the moon card you know it's always expecting the worst case scenario but things have not come to light so you might need to do some investigation to expose um you know lies and deceit, there seems to be a manipulation of that legal system with the Seven of Swords. Uh, you know, it's also talking about, you know, losing, uh, uh, you know, with, um, with the Seven of Swords, loss of something as well. So you do need to go and do some investigation to bring the truth to light. And I think once that comes to light, the situation gets resolved and there is some kind of payout. Uh, and you will receive some kind of legal news as well. So facing a very, very difficult very dramatic situation, uh, but there looks like they might, you know, it, it looks like with the Oracle cards saying there is going to be a positive resolution to this particular problem. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.